very welcome to the first symposium organized by Indian Scientists Association in Japan. My name is Renu Wadwa. I'm from AIST Scuba, and I'm going to be your guide for this one-day tour on emerging technologies organized by Indian Scientists Association in Japan. Well, right on the onset, I would like to welcome our guests of honor. Can I first have Ms. Ida presenting flowers of welcome to Honorable Minister of Science, State Science and in Welcome to Japan and welcome to ISAG, sir. We highly appreciate your time and presence here today. Can I have now Ms. Rao presenting flowers of gratitude to His Excellency, Mr. H.K. Singh. Thank you very much. Thank you for making it happen here today. Can I have Ms. Shah presenting flowers of thanks and friendship to Dr. Uh, Itaru Watanabe. Thank you very much. You probably know that Dr. Itaru is uh, Senior Deputy Director, Deputy Director General, next, Ministry of Science, Ministry of Education, Sports and Science that is supporting many young Indian scientists here in Japan. Well, thank you, girls. Well, let's have a bit more formal welcome by Dr. Sunil Kaul, Chairman ISAJ. I would like to invite Dr. Sunil Kaul to give us some briefing for ISAJ during the last one year or so. Dr. Kaul, please. Honorable Indian Minister of State, Science and Technology and Earth Sciences, Mr. His Excellency, Mr. Hemant Krishna Singh, Indian Ambassador, Mr. Itaru Watanabe, Senior Deputy Director General, Ministry of Education, Culture, Sport, Science and Technology, Japan, Dr. Pankaj Jackson Hartil, Science Counselor, Embassy of India, Distinguished Guests and Friends. Good morning and warm welcome to the India Japan Symposium on Emerging Technologies. This is the first symposium organized by Indian Scientists. Association in Japan, or ISAT. ISAT was formed in December 2008, and uh, it was formally inaugurated on January 19, 2009, last year, by Professor Archidandran, Principal Scientific Advisor to the Prime Minister of India, in the presence of His Excellency, the Ambassador of India. And I'm happy to announce that today, ISAT is now registered as a non-profit organization in Japan. And today, this is the first scientific event being organized by the ISAS. In this one-day event, we have over 91 presenters and scheduled to give 11 plenary lectures, one special lecture, and 14 uh, invited oral presentations, 64 poster presentations, and at the end, we have also panel discussion, wherein six scientists from India and Japan will discuss several issues pertaining to the status and prospects of science and technology collaboration between India and Japan. I believe the symposium would provide a wonderful opportunity for networking among scientists of both the countries and to build the foundation for future scientific research collaboration with the view of strengthening India-Japan science cooperation in the coming days. I sincerely hope that the ISAS will continue to build and strengthen a bridge between Japanese and Indian research organizations to undertake collaborative multidisciplinary research projects that would be mutually beneficial to both the countries. I hope you all will enjoy today's symposium and make it a memorable event. Thank you. To call, uh, may I next request His Excellency, Mr. Singh, for opening remarks. to this embassy. I would especially like to welcome our honored guest, Honorable Minister of State for Science and Technology, Sri Prithviraj Chavan. Honorable Minister, the ISAJ has actually developed institutionally uh, 
It now has roughly 300 Indian scientists working in Japan, networked as members and participants of its various chapters. Uh, ISAG also has got registered as a non-profit organization, so which means that it is a formal established entity in Japan as of the middle of this year. Um, the role of uh, institution like ISAG in uh, networking Indian scientists uh, working in Japan, Indian scientists who are their collaborators back in India, and Japanese scientific community at large and Japanese institutions involved with scientific research at large uh, is an exceptionally important role. And I am sure that uh, as a result of this symposium on emerging technologies, which my embassy and our science counselor, we are very happy to uh, uh, to be co-partners with ISAG. Uh, you will make it possible to take forward uh, in a very meaningful and practical way the collaboration in the scientific arena between India and Japan. Now, I know that the minister uh, has a plane to catch, and we are all eager to listen to his opening address. So, without much further ado, let me say a warm welcome to you, Minister, once again, and we're looking forward to your inspirational opening address. Thank you very much, sir. Minister, uh, well, inaugural. We'll have it in a very Indian way, and that is by lightning the lens. May I request our guests of honor to inaugurate the event by lightning the lens, please? Honorable Minister of Science, his Excellency Mr. Singh, Dr. Watanabe, and I would also like to ask us ISAJ members here, Chairman Dr. Cole, Dr. Thaladil, and uh, Dr. Mahapatra, to please help and inaugurate the event. But lightning of lamp means or signifies brightness, clarity in thoughts, wisdom, prosperity, productivity, and success. as lamps of scientific discoveries, innovation, integration, and Indo-Japan friendship. If you like the idea, please give a round, a pleasant clapping. <laughs> I'd like to request Honorable Minister of Science for inaugural, inaugural address now. Please, Good morning, everyone. His Excellency Ambassador Rasejki Singh, Dr. Watanabe from MEXT, Dr. Call of uh, ISAJ, Dr. Pankaj. Distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great privilege for me to address this distinguished gathering and to inaugurate today's symposium, uh, the first one being organized by ISAJ. And I take this opportunity to thank the ISAJ, the Indian Scientist Association in Japan, for organizing yourself into a society and uh, undertaking activities that you just mentioned and of course for organizing this symposium on very important topic for science of emerging technologies and uh, the role of Indian Embassy in hosting this event uh, first such an effort by a certain Indian Embassy needs to be complemented you not even come. I would like to take this opportunity to share with you the new vibrancy and dynamism in the Indian science and technology sector. Thank you very much, sir. Well, having heard about students and the future plans, I think it's just the right time to have Mr. Watanabe uh, to have a keynote address.
Good morning, uh, Minister Mr. Chavan, His Excellency India Ambassador to Japan Mr. Sin, Chairman Kao of ISAJ, distinguished, part, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen. I am Itaru Watanabe, Senior Deputy Director, uh, Senior Deputy Director General of Science and Technology Policy Bureau, Ministry as the Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science and Technology, otherwise known as MEX. It is my greatest honor to have this opportunity to deliver a keynote address at this India-Japan Symposium on Engineering Technologies. I would like to express my sincere appreciation to the Indian Societies Association in Japan, ISAJ, for inviting me to this symposium. According to the information on the website, the ISAJ's objective seems to serve Indian researchers in Japan in developing research networks and in providing useful information for their research lives in Japan. I think it is very important and meaningful to support Indian researchers in Japan, not only from the viewpoint of India and Japan, but also from the global perspective. Ideas generated from excellent brains are decisive so that Japan keeps producing significant innovation. People from India play important roles in the academic and business fields. I'd like to conclude my keynote address by expressing my hope that today's symposium will be fruitful for all of you and will bring us a bright future. Thank you very much for your kind attention. And therefore, to make it more meaningful, uh, 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 the research more meaningful for the development of the Asia Pacific region, it is very important to engage India and Japan in science and technology very seriously. Honorable uh, Minister, uh, Minister of State Science and Technology and Art Science, Sipitra Chauhanji, uh, who has already left to catch uh, the fight, His Excellency Ambassador of India, Sri Hemant Krishnan Singh, respected Senior Deputy Director General, Japanese Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science and Technology, Itaru Watanabe-sama. Respected Councillor of Science and Technology, Dr. Pankaj Sam, Tadatil. Respected Chairman Aishaj, Dr. Sunil Kaul. Our most valued plenary speakers, chairs, panelists and invited guests, esteemed colleagues, Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us today in spite of all your busy schedules. <coughs> I deem it a great privilege to have been asked to extend a vote of thanks on this very important occasion. This symposium will be remembered as a milestone for Indian scientists working in Japan and in the history of their newly formed association, the Indian Scientists Association in Japan, as it is the very first event being organized by the ISAS community since its inception. I really hope this will be a memorable event for all of us and strengthen India-Japan relationship in science and technology. Thank you very much. I hope you will enjoy today's program.